Hey everyone, Will here with uh, part two of my flea market finds. We just covered the skates, uh, ice skates, and uh, we're going to move on to this little piece. Not exactly sure uh, what it is. Uh, if it was, I, I was told it was for jewelry, um, hang, uh, hang bracelets, whatever, off of here. Uh, nice little Art Deco style piece. Unsure of the age. You know, it looks kind of old but it isn't marked it's just made out of uh, white metal uh, but very well done and uh, if these holes up here are for modern earrings you know back then they had clip-on earrings then uh, that pretty much dates it but I'm not sure if the holes are for earrings um, hard to say but uh, neat piece all together five bucks for that all right, where to go next? Uh, Pope John Paul, uh, ten with uh, a rosary in there. He was I paid ten for that. It's a music box. Got the rosary, uh, poplar pope. Um, I'm gonna put like forty bucks on that. Uh, antique baby bottle. Um, Oval Nursery, Nursery, Phoenix. Uh, I've seen these before, but you know, I've never seen the rib kind. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but uh, yeah, you just take this, slap a little nipple on there, and feed your baby. Uh, so, paid 10 for this, just because I've never seen a, one with the ribs before. Might have ever paid for that. I uh, love the clock. Made by uh, Master Crafters. Got a switch back here that lights uh, a couple light bulbs in here and uh, lights up the panel of glass. Plugged it in, it works, and that was $20. Uh, got a couple pieces here, 50 cents a piece, something for a painter, some kind of clip. And uh, a hair straightener. I've had, I've sold one of these. I got fifteen or twenty dollars for it. Uh, it's a uh, hair straightener. You put it over a fire and get it nice and hot, and run it through your hair, and it'll straighten it out. And you can see where uh, they got uh, burned right there. But uh, um, sold the last one before between fifteen and twenty, so should get right about that for this. So, uh, nice little profit there, 50 cents into uh, 15 bucks. Uh, the lamp. There's no wick to this. It's just got a valve back here. You know, it reminds me of a miner's lamp. I think it's carbide that goes in here. Uh, put some carbide in some water, some carbide. Um, and... Uh, I think that's what you, how it lights. Uh, no maker's mark anywhere on it. Really neat piece. Never seen anything quite like it. And I paid eight. Not sure why, what I can get for it, but I uh, um, think I'll do well. A whole stack of Maryland Steam Historical Society. Uh, we hear you over there. Uh, brass plaques. I got nine of these uh, for. Um, I paid $15 for the nine. And something like this might bring good money to the right person. You see, that's from 1977. Um, might try just some really outrageous price on these. Uh, like something like. Oh, 15, 20 bucks a piece. Um, just to throw that out there, see what happens. Got a, this, I figure this has got to be a salesman sample. It's a ice cream maker, but I mean, look how small it is. That's what really makes it. It's a uh, White Mountain Junior, and it's just, Nobody, if you've ever made ice cream with a crank 
uh, ice cream maker, uh, you know, it takes forever. And if you're going to put that much effort into it, there's no way you're going to do that much uh, to come out with a couple cups of ice cream, uh, which is probably what this makes. So I figure it's got to be a salesman sample. I'll, uh, I'll look it up and uh, see how that goes. Uh, but that was only uh, $5. Uh, Baltimore Oral is doing really good right now. This is from the 1990s, and that was five bucks. Probably a twenty-dollar belt buckle right there. Nice piece of uh, green glass. I think they call that. You know, I'm not not quite sure. I think they call that agate wear. I'm not sure. That was uh, four dollars. Bottle opener made out of metal. Um, always do good with the, the figural bottle openers. Uh, he was five bucks. Little uh, piggy uh, to a uh, train garden. Uh, cast iron. He was uh, four dollars. Uh, desktop memo pad from uh, Master Built Floors. That was five bucks. Definitely got some age to it. Uh, salt and pepper shaker. Uh, Holt Howard. Or is it Howard Holt? I always want to call it Howard Holt. It just sounds better. Uh, but uh, very collectible. Um, where's the sticker? There it is. Got the uh, HH on it. Uh, very collectible. That was five dollars for the pair. A uh, film splicer, Jiffy splice. That was five bucks. Just neat looking piece. Um, still in the box. Couple of Native Indian uh, advertising pieces. Calumet uh, baking powder with a nice uh, picture on there. And uh, Iona uh, cocoa. Nice big tin there uh, with a uh, Indian chief on it. Uh, that was uh, ten dollars for the pair of them. Now we'll go over here. Uh, fly fishing stuff. Love fly fishing stuff. Uh, lots of collectors out there. Uh, this is a framed. I guess this is a sampler coming from these people uh, over in. Uh, you can see they're in Ireland. Maybe they sent this out to show uh, what you could buy. Some really good quality uh, flies on here. And uh, paid $20 for the uh, lot. Uh, you can see there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 20 flies. I paid $20. So, should do well with that. Uh, good quality flies uh, bring good money. Uh, primitive feast, two bucks. Looks got a nice uh, patina on it. I guess it was used to uh, push stuff down into a grinder or whatever. Uh, nice vintage tambourine, missing the uh, the black cover here. That was three bucks. Always do good with uh, vintage instruments. Um, ten paid twenty dollars for this ten, and it's a uh, old coffee piece. Old coffee tin, uh, black Americana. It's a, I don't know. Would it be considered black Americana if it's not American coffee? Uh, neat piece though, and uh, got this one too. This is uh, reproduced a lot. However, I think that uh, this is uh, original. Um, that was uh, five bucks. Got some tins. That was uh, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tens, twenty-five bucks. Some nice uh, lithograph stuff here. And this one's actually a cardboard box. How many of these survived? Can't be a whole lot. Porcelain pieces, um, really well done. Even though it's uh, Japan, that's a piece of occupied Japan there. That was um, 15 for the three. Uh, you know what? 
and we're gonna at the 10 minute mark once again we're gonna end this and go on to part three in just a second